Hi, welcome to the App Codes channel on YouTube. Today we're going to continue working with our little series on loading a UI web view with a local HTML file. And we're going to work on today um, picking that HTML file from after a user selects a row in a UI table view. Now to get the code we're going to be starting with and that we left off with last time, you can go here www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash webviewtutorial2.zip and that will give you the simple little app that we've created already that I'll go ahead and run here and you can see how it goes. First I'm going to clean it to make sure uh, <clears throat> to make sure you can see exactly what we had last time. Okay, so the first time we worked on this, we just did this first tab, which just loaded a local HTML file, this red.html. Then the second time we worked on it, we created a table view and populated it with just a single string. And then when you selected that table view, it took you to a UI web view that got populated with our local HTML. So today we're going to create an array that will populate our table view and then it will pass a variable to our UI web view that tells it which HTML, HTML file to load. Yeah, I hope I said that correctly so that you can understand it. So anyway, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is add a couple new HTML files. So I'm just going to select empty file here. And I'm just going to name this blue.html and then we'll do another one and we'll name this one green.html and then let's just do one more um, and we'll name this one yellow.html okay I'm going to copy and paste the code from one we already have and then we'll just change this blue 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 and then here we want it to be green 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 and then finally with our yellow one yellow. Now I'm just doing four HTML files here, but the process would be the same no matter how many you had. The scope would just be a little bit bigger and um, your array would certainly be a lot larger. So anyway, we have four HTML files here and we're going to load each one in the UI web view depending on what row a user selects in the table view. So let's go back to our second view controller and we're just going to do a array here and we'll just name it HTML files and then we'll go to our implementation file and let's hash this out so we have HTML files equals NS mutable array alloc with capacity for now which is 4 and then of course let's use that array to determine how many rows will be in this section so just do HTML files count and then we want to use that array to populate our table view so this is going to be HTML files object at index index path row and of course I haven't done one thing that we're going to need to do here that is populate our array so let's do that next you see my files add object and we're just going to do red I'm not going to bother putting the full name because all we really need to do is pass the um, the name without the suffix because all of the suffix 
suffixes are going to be the same. They're going to be HTML. And in our code that loads the HTML file, it has a spot where we tell what type of file it is, and we tell it HTML there. So really all we need here is the name of the file without the suffix. One more here. Okay there, populated our array and we're using the array to set the number of rows in the section and then finally we're going to populate our table view with that array. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything's working up till now. So we're going to go to our second tab and our table view is being populated by the array, by the array as you can see there. All right, now all we need to do is pass a variable to our web view. So the first thing we have to do is go to our web view and create a variable that we can set. I'll go ahead and set properties for it here. This would be a ns string, and we'll just name this one HTML. We want to go to our implementation file and synthesize it. And I think I had something wrong with my header file. Now, what was it? I had a period. That's why things were right. funny on me when I was trying to type the retain. Okay. So we've got it synthesized here. And let's go back to our second view controller and let's set that variable with a value that we're going to get from the array and pass it in there. So we're just going to do my web view dot HTML file equals HTML files our array and object at index index path dot row. So that's going to pass um, the name of the file that we've set here in our array. It's going to pass one of these values to our web view. To this particular variable that we have in our web view. Okay, let's go back to our web view now and we're going to need to change this and instead of having all this code in the view did load, cut, we're going to put it in um, a method that gets called every time that view appears instead of loading because the view gets the view did load just gets called the first time. So we're going to put it here and view did appear. And then we're just going to, instead of hard coding this value here, we're going to set it to our string that got set from the value that got passed in. And this is what I was talking about before. We really only need the first part of the name, which is red, blue, green, or yellow. We didn't need the suffix because all of them are going to be HTML and we're setting the type there. So this only had to be that first part, red, green, blue, or yellow. Okay, that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and run it, see what happens. Got our table view, select it, there's the red view, blue, and again, these are not just views, but these are UI web views that are loading the um, local HTML that we have over here. And it all seems to be working pretty well. And just to confirm that uh, it's actually loading that, let's, well, let's stop the simulator. And let's go ahead and add something to just to say this blue view. We will just add a, uh, let's just add a paragraph that says, here is our local blue HTML file. Just like that. Save it. Let's go ahead and run it again. And we should see that new paragraph show up when we go to the blue view. Right there. So that's just confirming that, yes, we are loading our local HTML files. Okay, that was pretty easy. I hope you uh, found that somewhat helpful. That's how you could populate an array with the name of HTML files and pass that name to another view that has a UI web view 
and then load the local HTML file into that UI web view. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope you found this helpful again. And as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com. And until next time, have a great day.